man, boy, we are behind. We are behind on the work. We got ooh, so much stuff going on. Welcome back to the channel. Man, we got a busy workbench this week. Ah, it's the good stuff. I think I need a coffee maker out here in the workshop. So that way I don't run out. I am busy. I am busy. I just shot one video. Now I'm on the way to the next. Oh, we got to get this stuff done. So check it out. Brand new ESC. That is actually a warranty deal. Uh, my 4S Alca or Creighton, the power button disappeared. And unfortunately, you know, the power button here is kind of like built into the ESC. So there's no way to just replace the button, which is kind of unfortunate. It makes it expensive for them to warranty and it makes it expensive like it's got a warranty for us to replace so i mean i could still work it i mean i guess if i had to pay for it i'd probably just deal with it the way it is but seeing how this is a brand new vehicle i've only run two battery packs through it yeah I call horizon said hey we got a little problem here See, yeah, like this is just uh, wired in there. It doesn't. So I lost this uh, this rubber button here. It disappeared. Just weird. That's the uh, only one I've seen have that happen to. All right, so we will be getting to that here shortly. Thank you, Horizon, for being a really good company to work with. So move right along. Man, God, I just I'm so far behind here. Oh, I got this uh, my airplane. I needed some servo extenders, and I used up what I had of the short ones, so I just got a pack, a pack of short ones. Uh, e fly. Okay, so I just got a, I got an extra prop to have on hand for the new glider that I got. It was graciously donated by Tug Hill RC. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, pins. Pins and pins. We got some work to do too. We got to put the big boy on the bench. The 8S crate, uh, Outcast. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I already took the stuff out of that package. Uh, I got a heat sink and a fan. And I'm not sure if the video is going to come out before this, but it's for something, a new vehicle. I haven't showed you yet. So I forgot I opened that. And then here, too, this is uh, from Jenny's RC. Got, got some extra parts. For the uh, Creighton, or for the Outcast, yeah. So we got front and rear control arms, the whole deal. Got some extra drive shafts there, and then actually got a pin kit and these blocks any of that stuff if you watch that video oh oh she took a hard hit coming down oh i screwed it up uh i screwed up i launched it straight up a damn ramp you guys hopefully you've seen the video but you know i, I went straight up a sk skate park <clears throat> and i thought you know normally they go up and they kind of nose down and this one did, it kind of came back and I throttled it and it, it brought it down and it came down, but it, it just, it didn't land quite flat. It hit that back wheel and guys, that is a heavy RC. If you've never picked up an 8S Outcast, 
it's like 40 pounds empty without batteries like 40 pounds <laughs> it is it is it is amazingly heavy let's get this let's get this guy up here so oh you know what look at that. this one they did all the blacked out stuff and now you have this well i guess it worked out because you have to undo these to replace the esc anyway so well. now i know why they give you this heat shrink because the fan wire look it's heat shrinked here 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 oh man did not know that so now this just adds more and more work to this Look at that. They didn't even feed it through the uh, rubber. They just kind of pinched it in there. I know some people like this all uh, black. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't see the, the point. But here's the one thing. Like, when you're using the jumper lead, you know you want to go for the black. So you put your jumper here and use this. Golly, I think that's the way it works. Now I forgot. I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. Like you want to use, put your battery on the black cable and then put this here so that way your telemetry works. I don't know why it won't work on either one. But here, like your jumper, and you put that in, you want it on the orange and then your battery here. When this whole thing is black like this, you kind of lose that so you think maybe they would make one connector i mean yeah i know you could see the little negative lines but especially the way that thing was clamped made it kind of hard but look at it that's kind of crazy to think this whole thing got to be replaced i mean this you would think there'd be a better like a just quick connect it's a shame because it's still a good esc This is a part I really don't like. <sighs> is messing with this damn receiver here. Now look at how dumb this is. They got gray, gray, and they got gray, black, and black. And look, this is silver, orange, and black. Why did they even change the colors? So now I have to look down there. So black is the outer edge I don't know why they'd use two of the same colors on that but uh, now we'll just try to tuck all that in there looks like some extra antenna wire oh I really don't like these <laughs> I hate getting in the receiver boxes I really do what I find helps is to take you some tweezers like that and hold the wire sideways and then you can usually feed it into that little rubber gasket somewhat easily like that look at that i might just have the only creighton 4s version 2.5 whatever you want to call it with uh with some orange some orange little flare underneath the hood here Woohoo! All right, now I've had people say that they want more of a technical thing going on. So, yes, the wires do matter. I did check everything beforehand. In like typical, uh, all the spectrum stuff, it goes in order. This goes to the bottom. This one goes to the middle. And then we got... This one that we need to add the heat shrink to. Um, where did it go? Here it is. Oh, what? Well, that's stupid. You can't get this thing through there.
I guess what you should do is undo this. Feed it through the other way. Ah, oh, man. I'm so happy. I thought this thing went on so easy. All right, let's make sure it's going to fit over this damn thing. Okay, so we got that. All right, kids, this is why, uh, you know, you watch videos so that way you learn and you can do it faster than what we do it. Because then you can learn from our mistakes. Okay, so. That fits. Oh boy, that fits. Uh, and oh, I really okay. So this is how I do it. Um, I don't feel like digging out my heat gun, so just very carefully not overdo it. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's working pretty good. Oh, uh, this thing's running low on butane. That's why. That's probably the only reason it's really like, <laughs> let me do this. Yeah, because normally this thing is just like stupid hot. All right. So now, we need to go ahead and put these wires back. Now this makes a little extra work having to do this, but I, don't, I like it. Even on the lowest clutch setting, I think I just stripped the thing out. Yeah, I like how these wires are nicely tied up like that. Well, I hope not. I did. I think I just stripped it. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not like a structural thing. And then here. Uh, I don't remember which way. It looks like the silver. So that should mean it goes. You know, it's weird. Futaba has a really nice system where their servo leads have a little fin, and they can only go in one way. There's, there's no reversing it. Why they don't do that here, I don't know. Let's just make sure that that works here. What happens if we reverse it? Will it work at all? No, nope. it's not this connector, so. I was just curious if it would blow the wrong way. Okay, so now we need to get the uh, get the transmitter and program. And then well, I'm going to just go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead and, uh, we got the book. We'll do the programming. All the way here. Negatives there. Do, 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 do. We having fun? So how do I go all the way to punch? Oh. 
So this was on six, three. This is backwards. This is not the same. So I guess now we have to look at, wow, max break strength. They had it at 62. So number one is forward, reverse break, five motor rotation, counterclockwise, BEC voltage, oh, let's see. okay on 7.4. This ESC does not have as many settings as the other one. This is weird. It only has six settings. This one had ten. Dude, that's a rip. That's a complete rip. So you don't get the low voltage cut off. You don't get reverse strength. You don't get the neutral range, which probably doesn't really matter. Wow. Look, now it says punch level one. What the hell? We have this at the six. This one only goes to five. Oh. Well, let's do four. Because this one wasn't maxed. This ESC is not. Oh. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to. Yeah. I need to talk to Arnold because they did not send me the right ESC. They, I bet you, oh, they sent me the one for the other version, probably. That's why it's okay. Okay. Wow. So there obviously is a difference between these things, which means I have to redo this whole thing all over again. All right, next up is to calibrate the ESC. So we hold down the set button, we hold down the power button. We got that. So set, that's neutral. Full throttle, set. Full reverse, set. There you go. Wow, man, I'm just, uh, I didn't realize that the ESC being black was actually like a totally different ESC, that it had more features. So, now I'm going to have to revisit this because this isn't, it's not right. They sent me the wrong one. Uh, I just thought it was a color. Something that they did to, to blacken this up, make it look something. I didn't realize that there was more settings and but you know what? Now I do. Now I know. Alright everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that up there. Jeez. Hope you uh enjoyed watching me fix this and our unboxing I got a lot more stuff that's got to get on the bench but I don't want to make stupid long videos uh, the next one I believe I should be putting the 8s outcast I think will be like the next one and that's gonna be quite a repair but I want to repair it and drive it all in the same video so I think we're gonna do that and then I still got some other <coughs> excuse me some stuff going on some more 
All right, guys. I'm sorry, man. I'm just upset about that. I'm just upset. So um, appreciate the support, everyone. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe. Share this content with your friends. Help spread the word of this channel. Look at this. Oh boy. I got a fix for this coming too. I got a different. So, and look at that. It's actually like. I think it's actually freaking hitting the motor right there. Oh, wow. All right. Well, <laughs> we got more stuff coming for this. I'll tell you what happens with this ESC. And we got a lot more stuff that's going to be coming on the bench. I am so far behind on my repairs. Everyone, appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We got better content coming. Sorry if this was boring, but it's got to be done. Stuff's got to get fixed. And I've had people say that they want to see how this stuff is done. So it's what I'm trying to do. Show you how to replace the stuff and program it. So hope you found some value in that. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next one. Thank you.